Hey guys, welcome back to Delaware Acre. Just a little, uh, this is actually an early September garden update. I'm a little behind on getting my videos posted due to some technical difficulties that I have figured out since then. So uh, bear with me there, but I just wanted to give you guys a little um, garden update, some footage, and check out the squash. It's between this arch and this arch because the squash this squash is so big. I don't really how sure to portray how big it is. I'll have to take a picture and insert it. And then, so there's this one, and then <laughs> there's this one that I tied because we were supposed to have a storm, and it's like it's stuck in there now. There is another one growing there. Another one here. Look how big that thing is crazy um there's another rampicante and then there's this rampicante here it goes all the way down to there another squash i don't know why they're doing this i actually don't know if this one might have this one might not make it looks like it might be some either oh yeah that's not gonna make it Oh, that might be blossom and rot, or just rot from being on the ground. This one's doing it too. It's odd. Very odd. But this one looks okay. There's another one in there, and there, and a few. <laughs> it's quite a jungle in here. My husband is more than thrilled. couple of rampicantes in there. A few little tiny figs. A few teeny tiny ones. Not a big tree down there. Yeah, it's looking kinda kinda spent. There's a few tiny figs on here. They're tiny. I I doubt they'll rape in, into anything. Looking a little rough here. Tomatillos are falling off. Uh, I ripped out the cucumbers that were here. I think one reseeded. And then Marigold kind of took over here, ripped out the cucumbers that were here too, and replanted some smaller sunflowers. And then I already trimmed out some tomato, some of the tomato plant. And then there are a few. I just watered this so it's kind of wet in there. There's a few. Uh, Tabasco peppers in there. I was watching uh, Acre Homestead and Becky was saying that she had a hard time with uh, Tabasco peppers as well. So I'm glad it wasn't just me. But yeah, I finally got two plants to grow some. So I feel you, Becky. <laughs> These are, that's a rampicante. And then this vine has just taken over. There's, there is another one. And then the lima beans are just taken off. There's so many. Uh, also, a little surprise volunteer are all over. <laughs> They're all up in there. And then the cantaloupes are almost ready, almost watering with the hose there. Sunflowers are all droopy now. We're not projected to get rain for three weeks. <laughs> so I'm trying to water the last little bit in there. I have actually chopped off some of these really big leaves and used them as mulch down there. Um, I had added some compost a little a few weeks ago and some little seedlings and stuff were starting to pop up so because it has been so dry I was hoping maybe they might help mulch it some too. Not really worried about the plugs anymore. I'm not sure if that's even going to be a thing at this point but I'm just trying to get some water in there and some water retention. 
Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you the progression of these squash. They are so funny. This has been the most, <laughs> the most entertaining um, gardening season so far. So I just wanted to give you, I, I looked back through my phone and I'd shared these weekly photos, uh, I guess over on Instagram, but I um, just put them all here together just to show you this so funny. It's so funny. Stay tuned to see how much the sucker weighs when I go to harvest it. Until the next video, thanks for watching. Hope you're well. Take care. Bye.